Why does the US Navy use nuclear power in every one of its scores of submarines but not in any of its scores of large destroyers and cruisers? Well, actually, in the 1960s, the Navy actually did commission a number of nuclear-powered cruisers and destroyers, starting with USS Long Beach in 1961. Nine nuclear frigates, Scotch cruisers of all classes were built. The penultimate nuclear cruisers were the Virginia class, the last of which, USS Arkansas, was built in 1980 and retired by 1999. All the nuclear cruisers turned out to be too expensive to maintain relative to the benefit of long endurance when it's relatively simple to rotate escorts of a task force on and off station for periodic refueling. Submarine and carriers are better served by nuclear power because their work demands they remain on station for long periods of time. Nuclear submarines don't have to break contact with whoever they're trailing and reveal their position by going to refuel, and carriers can better project power by always being available for rapid deployment, no matter what part of the world they're sent to.